Take your two gimp strings and find the middle of both strings. Secure the middle of the two strings with your thumb and pointer finger. It should look like a plus symbol. Take the right string and cross it over the top string. This should create a loop. Take the top string and cross it over the loop and it should also cross over the left string. Take the left string and cross it over the top string. Now take the bottom string and cross it over the left string and through the loop. Take all four strings and pull them in opposite directions. This should create the checkerboard box pattern. Now that you've created your first checkerboard box pattern, you will continue to do those same steps all the way through to the end of your keychain. Your keychain will end up being right about two and a half to three inches long. Once your keychain is about two and a half to three inches long, take the remaining string at the bottom and tie the end in a knot. You may want to double knot it to be sure it's secure. Cut off the excess string. Your tail string should be about one to one and a half inches long. Take your paper clip and poke it through one of the loops at the very top. This will make it larger so you can put the key ring through it easier. And now you have your very own keychain.